This family has waited for the outcome of this trial for seven years, ever since lawyer Willie Kimani, his driver, and client were killed by three police officers in Nairobi in 2016. Since my uncle was murdered, we were told we would get justice, but we've never got it. The case shed light on extrajudicial executions and disappearances committed by law enforcement agencies. Despite high-profile trials, over the past decade, only 17 officers have been convicted. It has taken a very long time. It received a lot of uh, attention globally. We hope that it will have an impact and uh, either will diminish or bring extrajudicial killings to an end. The authorities have registered nearly 21,000 complaints over the last 10 years. By the end of 2021, only 141 had gone to trial. Many victims cannot defend themselves, like this man, wounded by a stray bullet in 2007. In Kenya, to find justice is not easier, especially justice over the police. I was told that my case was, was true uh, and uh, I was to be paid a ransom of around six million, but I didn't saw that, in, that money. Since the election of William Ruto in August, Many murder cases have cost a star. The president ordered for reforms in police units and said police brutality needs to end. It is my hope that um, part of these reforms would also entail, you know, trying to hold uh, security agencies, specifically police officers, to account. They must discharge uh, their duties as provided for by the Kenyan constitution. We are law-abiding citizens. Uh, none of us is above the law. and. We can't have a different playing field uh, when it comes to police officers. The Independent Policing Oversight Authority is yet to draft a plan to end extrajudicial killings, a change that human rights organizations have been seeking for years.